Hi and welcome to the channel of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Postpartum hemorrhage is a very emergency situation for the obstetrician and we need to act very promptly to save the patient's life. This video is regarding the management of postpartum hemorrhage in literal terms and in practicality. So firstly, what is this postpartum hemorrhage? It basically means that any amount of blood loss from or into the vaginal tract after the birth of baby which manifests as a deterioration in the patient's general condition as evident by increase in pulse rate or a decrease in blood pressure. And it can be from any time after the birth of the baby till the end of perpurium. The first thing in management is early diagnosis of PPH. And in order to do that, we need to monitor the patient after her delivery. So what we look for, we look for the vital signs, her per abdomen assessment is done and we check for, uh, check for the vaginal bleed, any amount of any excessive amount of vaginal bleed on the passive so monitoring is done as per the risk factor of the patient. See after the delivery of the patient, for the first hour, we have monitoring at every 15 minutes interval and rest next whether it is up to half, hour, half hourly or an hourly or 4 hourly depends upon her risk factors. So what are some high risk factors such as uh, she might have had some uh, medical dis uh, condition in her pregnancy such as she might have had thrombocytopenia or a high blood pressure or uh, we, if we come to the labor she might have got augmentation or induction of labor done and uh, then during labor it might be a prolonged labor or she might have had a instrumental delivery. So all those are high risk factors and we monitor the patient accordingly. She might need a half hourly or an hourly monitoring whereas a low risk patient she might need a four hourly monitoring. Now let's consider a case scenario. I was on a postpartum ward round and I found a patient. She was a 22 year female, primary gravidar, delivered four hours back. She had a history of hypertension in pregnancy and on her vitals, she had pulse around 110, her BP was around 100 by 60 and on per abdomen assessment, I could not find, make out the uterine tone and her pad was completely soaked with blood. So now the diagnosis of postpartum hemorrhage is made and it is clear. So the first thing I have to do is, I have to call for help. I cannot alone manage the patient of a postpartum hemorrhage. I require a team and for that, just if you have some codes defined in your hospital that it's a red code or a blue code, then it is fine. In case those codes are not available, you cannot push a button. You need to be very loud and clear that you require help and the uh, your colleagues can come to help you as soon as you possible. You can call for help in any language that you want. For example, in my region, Hindi and Punjabi are the most commonly used languages. So after the call for help, I have my team defined. The team at least requires three persons to manage a PPH. One is required for the head end, one for the arm end and one at the perineal. So suppose I am at the perineal end, I'll have to first perform a hand hygiene and then wear a sterile pair of gloves and start giving the patient uterine massage. Next is I catheterize the patient and then finally do a per vaginum examination to remove the clots, look for any traumatic cause and then start with the bimanual compression. So while I am managing the perineal end of the patient, my two other team members that is the head end person and the arm end person also have important roles to play. Firstly talking about the head end person. So the head end person basically has to make sure that the patient is conscious and her airway is patent and then administer oxygen if that is required and calm down the patient, provide the counseling to patient that she is fine and everything is going to be all right. And the next thing is also counsel the relatives of the patient about the situation of the patient and keep a track record of all the events that are happening in her postpartum hemorrhage management. Now coming to the duties of the arm and person. The arm and person has to first establish an IV line, a wide bore IV line, two IV bore excesses are required. Uh, that specifically needs to be of a 16 gauze or a 18 gauze. And also then after securing the IV line, send the sample for blood cross matching and blood issuing. 
and then also she has to monitor the vitals of the patient and administer eutrotonics whenever required. Now going to show you some role play where I'll be at the perineal end and Dr. Mandeep will be at the arm end and Dr. Anmol at the head end. Anji Gurpreet, ki haal hai? Thik ho? Ki me hai? Ki me lag rahe hai? Thode chakkar aare hai? Achcha. Bacchan dood pe aana shuru kitta? Nahi halay chakkar aare si? Achcha. Thik hai. Thode aapa vitals check kar lenne hai? BP apparatus deo? Anji. Anji. Chalo. Achcha. Hoor kuch khada pita? नहीं हले खादा नहीं पानी पीना जरूरी है पानी पीना सिर्फ डिलीवरी तो बाद अच्छा पैड कितनी बार चेंज किया गुरप्रीत दो बार चेंज कर लिया खून नाल भर होया सी अच्छा ठीक है हले भी चक्कर आ रहे हैं ठंड भी लग रही है तो ऑन माय क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द पोस्टपार्टम पेशेंट I have seen that the patient is having vitals uh, that is uh, pulse is quite tacky around 120 and her BP is 100 by 60. Uh, the uterine tone cannot be made out per abdominally and her pad is currently also soaked and she also had two pad soakage before this. So this is clearly a PPH and now I am going to call for help. Dr. Mandeep, Dr. Anmol, jaldi aayo patient ho PPH hai. And simultaneously I have to start with the patient's uterine Sorry, massage. Pair of gloves, uh, please when 16 number folly scatter view. Anji, thank you. Uh, so I have catheterized the patient. The urine output is around 200 ml. Uh, Doctor and mole, please uh, airway secure kar you. Anji, good please. Thik ho? Sa thik a raya? Okay, time ki hoya? 12 baje? Okay. The patient is breathing fine. Airway is patent, no need of oxygen, the saturation is around 97%. I am administering the patient 800 microgram sublingual mesoprostol. Jeep the niche rakhi, hanji. Koi gal nahi, thik ho jaun. Uh, Dr. Mandeep, please IV line secure kariyo. Hanji, Dr. Sahib, I have secured both the arms with 18 gauze cannula. And the sample has also been sent for the CBC and the blood cross match. Now starting NS at 60 drops per minute. I have removed all the clots from the vaginal cavity. And I am starting with my bimanual compression now. Uh, Dr. Mandi, please eutrotonics administer. Kar Patient the BP 102 by 60 hai, and the pulse is 122. Starting with the oxytocin 20 international units in 60 drops per minute. And Dr. Anmol, please, relatives no explain karo. Hanji, Dr. Sahib. Good with? Do mint method de relatives de naal galgar ke aangi. Thik hai? Sab kuch thik ho jayega. Hanji, to see relative ho patient good with? Hanji. Haan. Asi hai bas na si ga ki patient de ho delivery to baad kaafi khun pae raya is samay. ते खून पैन दे नाल ओदे दिल दी धड़कन काफी बड़ी हुई है ते बीपी थोड़ा जा कट रहा है ते असी पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि खून भी रुक जाए अते जिन्ना ब्लड लॉस होया ते वो ब्लड लॉस भी असी ब्लड चढ़ा के कवर कर सकिए बाकी ऐसी पेशेंट दी थानू कंडीशन टाइम टू टाइम दसते रहंगे बट इस समय पेशेंट दी कंडीशन थोड़ी गंभीर है ते असी मैनेज करने दी पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग द कंप्रेशन बट द यूट्राइन टोन इज स्टिल नॉट देयर डॉक्टर मनदीप प्लीज अगला यूट्रोटोनिक एडमिनिस्टर करियो नाउ आई एम एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग पेशेंट विद कार्बोप्रोस्ट 250 माइक्रोग्राम आईएम द यूट्रस इज गेनिंग इट्स टोन नाउ एंड द ब्लीडिंग इज आल्सो वेरी मिनिमल प्लीज कंटिन्यू द सेम यूट्रोटोनिक्स सो आपा मैनेज कर लिया पीपीएच फ्रॉम 12 पीएम टू 12:25 पीएम एंड सारे ट्रीटमेंट द यूट्रोटोनिक्स एंड द कंसेंट एंड रिस्क ऑफ पेशेंट हैज बीन टेकन Okay, so we have managed the PPH, but we have to monitor the patient for half hour early for the next four hours. The patient has also been in the second episode of PPH. So you just saw a role play where we had a patient that had an atonic uterus and we were able to gain that tone of the uterus by using the uterotonics. Now in case the uterotonics would have been ineffective, the next line of management is tamponade. The tamponade is balloon tamponade including the buckry balloon 
uh, or you can go for the cheaper version that is the CG balloon. In case though tamponades are also not effective, the next line is man uh, surgical management. The surgical management would include some conservative management including the uterine artery ligation, internal iliacal ligation or the compression sutures such as uh, Heyman suture, Bielen sutures or in case those things are also not effective, the last step is hysterectomy. First most common cause of uh, the PPH is atonic and the second one is traumatic. For the traumatic, you will require a site-specific surgical intervention to control that PPH. So if you like my video, please do like, subscribe and share the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. Thanks for watching.